This is GoingGear.com and today we're going to take a look at the three different Cree MCE flashlights that I stock. The Phoenix TK40, the Olight M30 Triton, and the Jetbeam M1X. Since I do stock three different flashlights that are relatively similar, I get a few questions every now and then about which flashlight I think is the best for which situation. So I'm going to go through and briefly explain each one to help you make a little bit better decision. I do have videos that explain each of these in more detail. If you'd like to see those, just check out my other videos. So we'll start off with the Phoenix TK40. You see it's got a nice thick body, so if you like the uh, the old Maglite feel, this is the way to go. It's also the only one of the three that takes AA batteries, so if you want to take, use AA's, this is your only choice. To turn it on, you just click this button on the end, and then you've got four different brightness modes. To switch between the brightness modes, hold the button down for a second, and it'll switch between the modes. Now each brightness mode has its own corresponding flashing mode, so if you double click that button, it'll switch over to the flashing mode. You've got strobe, you've got slow flash, you've got SOS, and you've got fast flash. So that's the Phoenix TK40. The Olight M30 Triton, you can see, is a nice little more compact package, but uh, it's got a little bit smaller reflector, so it might not be able to throw the light as far as these other two will. But to turn it on, just click the button on the end. It's actually got two different buttons. You've got the button on the end, and you've got this button on the side. When the flashlight is turned off, you press the button on the side, You've got momentary access to strobe, and then when you turn it on and press the button on the side, it'll switch between the modes. So you've got low, you've got medium, you've got high, and then you've got strobe. And this takes uh, either three CR123 batteries, or you can add on an extender tube that's included, and it'll take four CR123 batteries or two 18650 batteries. Last, we've got the Jetbeam M1X. You see it's got the largest reflector out of the three, which is really nice. It should be able to throw the beam really far if you need to light things up really far away. It also takes three CR123 batteries like the M30, and it's got an optional extender tube that'll uh, let it take four CR123s or two 18650 batteries. This one has a couple different modes. Turn it on, and you're at the full 700 lumens. And then I'm going to turn it off so you can see what I'm doing. When you twist the head, you've actually got a little bit lower mode and then you can do this while it's on tighten it back up you're back in the the high mode twist it you're back in the low mode you can actu actually set this mode you can set the brightness to this and to do that you lightly press the uh... the button twice and then click it you have to do that within a second so you have to do it pretty quickly so we're just going to go one two and then click and you'll see it'll start ramping through the different brightnesses and anywhere in there i can turn it off and it's set to that brightness so again, fully tightened, we've got it at the full brightness, and then when I loosen up the head, it's back to the brightness that I set. So those are the three different flashlights. Uh, let's take these outside and see how they do. Alright, so we're in my backyard, and we're going to compare those three flashlights to one of the old standards of big and bright flashlights, a uh, 4D cell mag light. It's got fresh batteries, so it should be a fair comparison. Not really. But we'll go ahead and start off with it, see what it looks like. I'm going to turn the LED camera, or the camera LED off. And I've got the camera pointed at a fence that's about 150, 200 feet away. So you can see, you can kind of see what's going on out there with the mag light. Not too bad. So we'll try that Phoenix TK40 next. You see a significantly different amount of light, just so we can see what the different levels look like. That's turbo. That's low, that's medium, and that's high. And again, that's turbo. Try the Olight M30 next. That's it on low. Can't really see what's going on out there. It's not putting a whole lot of light out. It's not really meant to on low. There it is on medium. And there it is on high. And we'll try the jet beam and one X next and last. And we'll start it up on one of the lower modes. There it is on one of the lower modes. We're going to tighten the head, see what it looks like on high. There it is on high. So you can see they all put out an awful amount of light. So uh, they probably all do pretty well for you if you're trying to light up something in the distance. So it depends on the other features of uh, what you're really looking for. Alright, so now that you saw how each one does outside, which one do I think is best for which situation? 
Like I said, obviously if you want to use double A's, the Phoenix TK40 is the only way to go. Also, it's got the little bit larger body, which is kind of nice. If you like that uh, little bit more hefty feel, that's the way to go. The Olight M30 is by far the smallest out of the three, so if you want a compact package, this is the way to go. You've also got that instant access to the strobe at all times if you happen to need that. But uh, it does have a little bit smaller reflector, so it might not be able to throw the beam as far as these other two. The Jet Beam M1X has that huge reflector, so it should be able to throw the beam really, really far. And uh, it's got the adjustable mode, so you can set the brightness on that. And uh, like I said, like the M30, it can take either three or four CR123s or those two 18650 batteries. So you've got some uh, good battery options. That's it. If you have any questions, you can reach me in the comments or at goinggear.com.